on complete chemistry so in today's video we are going to sa start solving the questions of the recently asked june 2024 net exam so we are starting with the part b so this is the first question from organic chemistry which is based on prochirality that is we have to assign whether uh, a particular group of atom is pro r or pro s so the question is correct topicity for h a and h c is so in this molecule uh, we have to find out the topicity for for this h a and there is one more molecule for here we have to find out the topicity whether it is pro r or pro s for this h c Okay, so let us first try to understand what are the rules for finding pro R and pro S. I have already made a video on this. You can watch that. I will provide link in the description. So just for the recap, what is a prochiral center? Okay, prochiral center. Okay, it can be. Uh, it can be a compound like ketone, which is normally it is a chiral. Okay, for example, this. To butanone okay or butanone okay after adding some nucleophile it will become chiral okay let's say nucleophile attacks here and then there is oh okay so now here we know it is chiral because this carbon is attached to four different groups okay so this ketone the reactant which was a chiral it is called pro pro means before okay before it was before chirality okay product is chiral but the reactant is a chiral so such molecules are called as pro chiral okay another example is another example is an sp3 hybridized carbon okay suppose here there are two hydrogens okay if i replace one of the hydrogen with some other group let's say chlorine okay now we can see it has become chiral so this sp3 hybridized carbon which is a chiral before this is called as prochiral center okay, after replacing one of the group it becomes chiral okay so now let us see the rules what are the rules for assigning pro r and pro s so the first step is you have to replace okay atom for which you want to find out the prochirality replace that particular atom with its slightly uh, atom having slightly higher atomic mass okay for example you are replacing hydrogen with deuterium okay such that the priority which priority the same priority that we assign via uh, while doing while finding out the rs configuration okay that the priority does not change okay it should remain same the priority of the other group should not change okay priority of the other groups should remain same what is the meaning of this we will see in a minute second thing is we have to find out the rs okay rs configuration of that particular prochiral center after replacing it with uh, the isotope of that particular atom for example hydrogen replacing with deuterium after replacement you have to find out rs if the configuration comes out R, then we can call that prochiral center as pro R. If it is S, then we call it as pro S. Okay, so now let us try to apply on the given molecules. So here you can see this is allene type of system. Okay, there is one double bond and then there is a ring. And then here there are two groups attached and on the left there are two groups attached. Okay, it is similar to allene system. Okay, where two groups are in plane let's say a and b these are in one plane like this and then there are two groups which are in a perpendicular plane like this okay in a perpendicular plane like this okay so now we have to find out the prochirality for this h a so we will replace h a with its isotope that is deuterium okay so suppose you are viewing this molecule from this side okay then how will the molecule look okay how will the molecule look ha is coming outside okay it is ab above the it is coming on the right okay it is above the plane that is it is coming right you are observing from here so here it will be ha okay on the left there is hb then on the top if you see what is there it is chlorine 
and if you see down there is hydrogen okay we have to find out the topicity for h a so you replace h a with deuterium okay now normal how do you find out the rs configuration for cumulins the closer groups okay closer groups to the observer are h a and h b for that you give the higher priority so hydrogen and deuterium which will get higher priority deuterium okay atomic number is same if the atomic number is same then you see the atomic mass okay hydrogen atomic mass is 1 deuterium atomic mass is 2 so atomic mass of deuterium is greater so it will get first priority and this hydrogen will get second priority then you give the priority to the groups that are away from the observer okay chlorine and hydrogen which is higher priority chlorine chlorine has higher atomic number okay so it will get 3 and this hydrogen will get 4 now find out whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise so 1 2 2 2 3 it is clockwise so it is r configuration so what will be the prochiral center the prochiral center is going to be pro r okay similarly you can find out for this this is the exact aline molecule they have given that i was talking of so again we will see from here the observer is looking from here okay draw the structure h c is on the right now okay h d this group is on the left above again there is chlorine and below there is this hydrogen so again now we have to find out the prochirality for this hc so replace this hc with deuterium okay again follow the same rule okay this will get first priority closer groups will get 1 and 2 then chlorine and hydrogen again this will get 3 this will get 4 1 2 2 2 3 it is clockwise so it is r so the prochiral center is pro r okay so for both the centers you can see the answer is what pro r so what will be the correct answer for this question the correct answer will be option 1 okay that is h a is equal to h c both are pro r so what is the correct answer for this question it is option 1 okay it was for two marks okay i hope you have understood the solution for more detailed understanding you can watch this video i am providing the link thank you